I started uh, a, a series of these paintings about 10 years ago before the experience with the orb. I had no idea why I was doing them, but it just appeared that uh, my attention was uh, starting to be drawn to the skies. Uh, a lot of the art that I do um, becomes somehow predictive of other things that occur. Uh, m my daughter's having her baby was one of them. I'd finished the Madonna and Child and she gets pregnant. Uh, I finished an extraterrestrial, and, and, which was the last painting I did and I finished about a year ago. Um, and then we end up having an extraterrestrial in the house. So we've just arrived at the Darby Ranch. It's a ranch owned by Mike Merberg. He has the Tampa Ambassadors. It's a CE5 group of about 100 people. We're into CE5 work, consciousness, meetups, going out to observe, trying to make contact with ETs. Uh, we're here for several days now. We're pretty excited about what we might see. There's been all kinds of stories. We've already been talking to Mike and some of the people for several weeks now, actually. There's all kinds of stories about orbs coming to the property, going around the trees, near the ground. They've had crafts, fully materialized crafts in the sky that they've seen. All kinds of different experiences and sightings. Some they've actually caught on video, and I've seen some of the videos. So it's pretty impressive. We're pretty excited about this location. You know, it, the, inciting, this, the sightings have inspired me to put everything down and get working on more important things right now. Art used to be it for me, but there, there's work ahead. And, uh, and uh, CE5 is part of it. So eventually I'll make it back to the studio here uh, for more of this because I love it. I've been doing it since I was a child and it helps me relax. Uh, and get into a very spiritual mood. I mean, I, I designed and built this barn. Um, it's kind of my own church, and this is, this is my altar, so to speak. It's the only religion I have is you know, love and art, I guess. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it gets back to me, and music as well. Uh, right now CE5 and getting the word out and helping spiritual people or helping peer people to be become more spiritual is more important to me than hey Mike you're such a great artist I just paint that's all and if I'm an artist that's somebody else's opinion I just do it because I like to and it helps me relax and uh, it helps me convey uh, love and feeling through art they're more important things right now other than me. I mean, I've never met any more beautiful, loving people than, than I've met through uh, CE5 and the contact work. They're all, it's all inextricably, inextricably intertwined with uh, peace, love, and understanding and, and making this world a better place. I started uh, a, a series of these paintings about 10 years ago before the experience with the orb. I had no idea why I was doing them, but it just appeared that uh, my attention was uh, starting to be drawn to the skies. Uh, a lot of the art that I do um, becomes somehow predictive of other things that occur. Uh, m my daughter's having her baby was one of them. I'd finished the Madonna and Child and she gets pregnant. Uh, I finished an extraterrestrial, and, and which was the last painting I did, and I finished about a year ago. Um, and then we end up having an extraterrestrial in the house. Uh, so uh, I think this, these celestial paintings, by their very nature, uh, proves to me that there's something out there far greater than uh, we who pulls us out of ourselves towards it. And... Uh, and its manifestation in art, in love, in music, and that's kind of where my life is right now.
Well, what I saw first was a, uh, this is going back to the, the second night at Darby Ranch back about eight, two years ago. Um, the first thing I saw was a craft overhead. It had a uh, silverish, uh, uh, it was round, I know that. And it had a, 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 a bright white light underneath it, single, not a, it almost covered probably two thirds of the whole bottom. And then this is the moment that it uh, expanded its light. I mean, there was a pulse of energy that came out of it. And then all of a sudden this, uh, this area here, it looked, it, it was almost as hard to explain. The picture's worth a thousand words. Um, it was energetic and then the beam came down and focused on us and then where the uh, when we got hit by the, since I hit, but we did, we got hit by a, a, a beam of energy. Um, and at the time I was looking at Rose, uh, not up, <laughs> but this is when it, uh, when it lit up and energized. And then I looked at her and then the rest was, saw the light and then felt the uh, energy come through us. It kind of staggered us a little bit, but that's what it is. Uh, in the last year was I had gotten together with my group from Sarasota. There was only four of us, uh, one of uh, whom was a, a reporter for the Herald Tribune. Unfortunately, he missed this by a few, just a few seconds, but we had gone into a meditation uh, off of our on Casey Key, uh, looking towards the mainland. And uh, I call this a stargate opening up. Uh, after I got home, that night or that early that morning I painted this there should obviously be a back a black background because it was a dark but I'll just keep it the way it is uh, but the first thing that happened it was about 10 30 at night we had an orange orb show up at about 3500 feet and then within a few seconds after the <clears throat> the orange orb showing up there were three points of light that showed up much like what we call a, uh, a flash bulb but they were very bright, very small, and they continued to be very, very bright and small. And then there was nothing but black between them. And then out of this black at about 3,500 feet above the ground, we had a Tic Tac craft come through and behind it uh, was a tail that was, uh, it was extremely long and the tail, this craft at about 3,500 feet uh, carried across the entire sky until it exited the other end of the sky into nothingness once again uh, at the horizon. So, and it carried the tail most of its way and it was brilliant. It was it illuminated the entire sky. And uh, of course, uh, those of us who saw it were agog at it and amazed that we were, that we, were able, we were able to see it. I don't know if we had anything to do with it, it was just chance or not, but this is the kind of thing that is uh, likely to happen when you continue to meditate with people that, are, um, that are, you're connected to spiritually and, uh, uh, and lovingly.